let's talk about tuples. So what is a tuple? Um, tuples are sort of like lists, but they're immutable. That's uh, a convenient way to think about it. So um, let's, let's make a list. So let's call it list. Uh, let's not call it list. <laughs> let's call it some list. And let's fill it with values. So I'm just going to mash keys, and I'm going to just throw some commas in here. Um, fix that. So we've got a list. Awesome. Uh, we can cast this to a tuple pretty easily by uh, just running tuple on it, some list. And that's going to... Uh, well, it's going to do something, but why don't we print it so that we can actually see it do something. Um, and, oh, I printed some list, but I actually wanted to print some tuple. So let's, let's look at that. Uh, notice what's different here. Uh, when we print it as a list, it's got uh, brackets around it. When we print it as a tuple, it's got parens around it. It has friends around it. So um, we've got some tuple. Let's just demonstrate that it's immutable. Um, well, first, let's access a value in the tuple. So we access it the same way we would access in a list. And um, notice this is giving us the, uh, the third index, or index 3, which is the value 2. Um, so you access it in the same way. But what if we want to change it? So let's, uh, let's change this to um, cat, for instance. So we're, gonna, we're going to try to modify some tuple, and you can see it's already giving us, uh, you know, VS Code is complaining that we shouldn't be able to do that. And notice our error here, type error, tuple object does not support item assignment. So it's uh, th this is due to it being immutable, right? It's like a string. Um, you know, you can't pick an index of the string and reassign a character to it. It doesn't work that way. Uh, tuples can't be changed. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, Tuples, in a nutshell, um, you know, other thing, thing, other things that work with lists, like we can get the length of some tuple. You know, this is something you would commonly do, and that should give us the length. Uh, it's eight values in that tuple. Um, the another thing that tuples can do. Let's make another tup. Another tup. So. Notice I'm declaring this differently, 5, 3, uh, some, I didn't actually say the things I was going to say, but um, we can take some tuple and concatenate it to another tuple. So that's kind of cool. Um, and we can assign this to, uh, let's just call this tup3. And sometimes you see this language, uh, tup, for generic tuples, um, you know. Just in case you see it, it's probably a tuple. Ooh, VS Code, doing it again. All right. So we run this, and simply we just add, uh, we just concatenated five, two, six, and seven onto the end of some tuple. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, you've already seen this concept of uh, unpacking. And you've seen it in terms of tuples. So uh, let's do cat, dog, mouse. And let's, let's do this in a couple ways. Let's print an F string of the chases the chases the... Okay. So we could do this in a couple ways. We, we could unpack simply by index, top zero, 
uh, you know, top one, top two. Um, but let's let's do this like this. Let's say uh, cat, dog, mouse, and that's going to get top. And this is just going to take cat, put it into cat, dog, put it into dog, mouse, put it into mouse. We've seen this kind of construct before, and then I'm just going to do cat, dog, mouse, and let's run this. The cat chases the dog, chases the mouse. Um, now, maybe in some world it makes more sense to for a dog to chase a cat. I, I don't know. Um, that's probably true from some cultural story we have. So that makes sense, right? Um, here's here's a, kind of a cool thing that you may not have realized, uh, even though I think we've mentioned it. Um, functions, when they return multiple values, uh, they return a tuple. And uh, let's go ahead and, and check that. So I'm just making a generic function here. And let's return those values that we unpacked. And I'm just going to return those things. And now let's call um, return tup. And let's unpack that. Or, you know, let, let's just print the type of it, you know, um, just to verify. It's class tuple. Awesome. That that's easy. Makes sense. And um, you know, when we return this, we can do we can return this in a couple ways, right? So we can call this animals, and let's print animals. So when we print, oh, oh, VS Code. Okay. Uh, notice when we print this, it's in the form of a tuple. When we print animals. That is a tuple. So we can do that, or we can again, uh, you know, I know this is redundant, but you know, we can we can unpack this. And sure enough. Uh well we need to print. Let's print that. The dog chases the cat, chases the mouse. Um, you know, if you look at this operation, tup gets cat, dog, mouse. We unpack tup, and then we're returning three things, and uh, those things are returning as a single tuple, but then we're unpacking them again on line six, uh, and then we are putting them in here. Now, I just want to make one last case here uh, for indexing and unpacking into this f string. Right, animals sub zero, animals sub one, animals sub two. This is going to get us the same result. The cat chases the dog, chases the mouse.